Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Christine Austin Ill and I was asked to be a part of the 8% virtual conference with Cody Askin and guys if you missed the conference on Friday and Saturday you definitely want to check it out. What I have right here is just my part of the conference and I just wanted to share this part of my story. Stay tuned for the rest. Welcome back. Here we go. It's just been an unbelievable day or it's just been an unbelievable day. All right. Our next speaker is ready. She's waiting. She's ready to come in. I'm excited about this, this lady. Okay. It has been unbelievable getting to know her. She has done an unbelievable job in the industry at putting out content to help everyone. And what I can tell you is Miss Christine Austin L is doing a phenomenal job at driving the industry. Okay, so I'm excited that she's a part of this. I'm about ready to bring her out. Please give it up. Please welcome. Here we go. Light it up in chat if you've seen her on YouTube or Facebook or everything she's doing. Thank you for being a part of this. Appreciate the friendship. And I'm excited to hear you speak as well. Here we go to Miss Christine Austin. Hello, and thank you for reaching out to me so that I can be a part of this amazing platform. I am honored and I'm excited to just be a part of your vision, Cody. I've watched several of your videos from Facebook to Instagram and, of course, YouTube. And you are consistent in showing up and sharing your knowledge to help others in their business to be successful. So, again, I thank you for having me. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Christine Austin Ill, and my sole mission is to encourage, inspire, motivate, and train the masses to live their best life now. And for me, life now stands for living in full expectation, never-ending opportunities with them because I believe that we all have everything we need to be successful inside. I have been able to serve thousands of people through my YouTube channel, as well as help agents earn six figures plus by training and other tools that are available to them. And the crazy part about what I do now is I did not even want to be an insurance agent. I worked 14 years in corporate America, and actually I loved my job. I felt like I had made it, honestly. I started when I was 19 years old. I had an office on the 23rd floor by the 14th year where I could look out of my big window and watch people basically live their lives. I was married at age 19 as well and divorced at age 25. I'm left with one daughter. So now I was a single mother making about 56,000 a year before taxes. And still, I, I kind of still thought I was on top of the world. Until the day that my sister didn't show up for work. Um, her manager called me to ask if um, she was sick and I had no idea. I called her phone numbers and I called my mother. I called even her boyfriend um, to see what was going on and nobody had heard from her. So my mother started calling around and found that she was laid up in a hospital. My mother was furious. She was furious because nobody had called and my mother couldn't go to the hospital because she was caring for three young foster children. So it was up to me to go and make sure that she was okay. I went to the senior manager to tell him what was going on and to let him know I needed him to cover me because I needed to go to the hospital when he told me I couldn't leave. Are you kidding me? The rage that I felt building up in my stomach, the thoughts of all the years I spent working early mornings and late nights while my young daughter was being raised by somebody else, the time I had to stay during 9-11 to make sure that everyone on the 23rd floor made it out safely before I could leave. Are you kidding me? My view of that perfect job started to shift at that very moment. I had to make a decision. So I grabbed my bags and all the personal belongings that I could and I headed to the hospital. Tears flowing down my face because I wasn't sure what I was going to find when I got to the hospital. I didn't know if I'd have a job the next day or what I was going to do if I didn't. I didn't know anything. I ran into the ER back to my sister's room as I noticed her laying there naked, hanging across the bed with the sheet laying um, draped across her back. 
it looked as though she was trying to reach for something as I went around the side of her bed. I can tell that the help button, the remote was dangling down from the side of the bed. So I'm assuming that she was trying to reach for help. Called my mom immediately because she was a nurse. And I told her what I had seen and she told me she was having a stroke. Crazy. Had I not left that job, my sister would have died that day. Fast forward, I did lose the job. And now I was thrown into figuring out my life now, right? I couldn't get another job because my resume was so my resume was so large and I was considered to be overqualified. And here I, I just wanted a job. My savings was running very low and I had no one else that could financially help me. My mother was taking care of my now sister and she was unable to talk, walk, or even feed herself. I fell into a great depression. I didn't know what to do but I thought I was living my best life, now I became barely living. What happened? I remember asking God, like, how could this happen to us? Why? And I'm sure that most of you can relate if you've lived long enough. And in these times, if we're not careful, we'll quit. We'll quit trying, quit living, quit smiling, quit laughing. We'll just quit on life. But if you hold on long enough, you will not fail in this life. You can and you will thrive if you just don't quit. So I picked up myself with God's strength and I found some fight left in me. I woke up one day and, and I don't mean waking up literally, but I woke up realizing that that job that I thought I loved, I really didn't need. Actually, I was missing out on life because I was always working in a building, building up someone else's dream while they were living their best life. I started reading the Bible and self-help books because I knew I was worth so much more than what I had found myself. I started going to networking events so I could meet different people and learn the different lifestyles and talk to people and figuring out like how to be your own boss and leveling up. This is where I learned how to be an entrepreneur. I met Chuck Sanders who owned a mortgage company here in the Pittsburgh area and he needed someone to help his people get qualified for a loan. And I don't know where it came from, but I said, hey, I can help you create a credit company. I don't know, but I was like, I fixed my credit when I had blacked out and ran, you know, head on to a PAT bus and actually passed away. Thank God they brought me back, you know, so I'm here for a reason and I know that, but I had to fix my credit because I had to file for bankruptcy. So here I am, I can help you. And here, finally linked up with a powerful man within the community who love to help others. My journey as an entrepreneur began. Again, everything was amazing. I worked for myself. I had the backing of a large mortgage company and I was able to be with my daughter every single day. Every day. I was living the dream life. And then the mortgage company crashed. The market went down and here we go again. <laughs> now, I still had my credit company, but I wasn't backed by a mortgage company. So business slowed down dramatically right? I didn't know what I was going to do. So I started figuring out, okay, I can do hair. Let me start a mobile stylist. So literally I created another company. So I was doing hair and I was doing credit, right? No, I did not go to school for hair. <laughs> I learned from YouTube, but I always believed that, you know, if you look good and you feel good, you're going to do good. And so here I'm doing hair and I'm doing credit. And then I meet my now husband, I was just running around free and loving life day by day, not really having a, a vision for my life. A few years of us in our relationship, my husband came to me talking about life insurance. And I'm like, I'm not doing life insurance. But his best friend kept coming to the house showing us these pay stubs. And I'm thinking, no, I'm not interested in selling. I definitely was not interested in working for anybody else. I didn't want a job. And we're going back and forth literally for three years off and on literally for three years. Um, I have the full story of it on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go and check it out. It's hilarious. But I, I didn't come into the business until I had a dream that I was helping this little old lady with her life insurance. And I felt amazing. So I woke up and started studying. And here I am, nine years later, and loving every minute of my business and helping other people become successful along the way. But don't get me wrong. This was not easy for me coming in. And I was still not interested in sales. So it took me two years 
doing very part time before I, I was able to see again. My second year, my 1099 came in and I was at 58,000. And I'm like, how did I make 58,000? And I don't even know what I'm doing. And mind you, at the nine to five job, or 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. job, I was making 56,000 after 14 years. Here we go again. I'm like, okay, Chris, shut down these other businesses, do this insurance 100%. And I was finally feeling like I had a clear picture for the future of my business, of my life. I'm going full-time. I am ready to go. I tell the managers here in the insurance industry, I need to be a manager. I believe that this can happen two nights before I'm going to the retreat for management, I get caught in an ice storm, really an ice storm. I'm thinking there's no way this is happening. I'm freaking out. I'm five hours away from home. I call my sister um, because she's a prayer warrior and I'm freaking out like, I need you to pray for me. I need to get off of this hill, this big old mountain. I have five hours to get home because I need to catch this flight in two days. And she prayed me off the mountain. I remember her telling me she loved me and asked me if I was gonna be over at the house to see her. The next day, and I'm like, of course, you know, I'm going to see you before I, I get on a flight to leave for Florida. The next morning, I get the call, 6 a.m. My sister passed away. I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me, right? 43 years old. I will never forget the date, January 15, 2014. Because it was not only the day that my sister passed on, but it was the day that I had to make another huge choice. Our choices create our tomorrows, no matter what anybody says or what anybody does. What you decide is going to determine your life. I chose to do both. I took care of my sister's arrangements. She died on a Wednesday. I set up the program for her to be laid to rest on a Sunday. My cousins were involved. It was amazing. The company that I represent was able to save my mother $3,600 because they were able to make the phone calls to help with the pricing. And that next day I was on the flight. It was hard to come back and get in the field, talking to people about life insurance. But as time went on, I learned that I was not only talking about insurance, I was teaching people and helping them with something that is going to happen. And what a blessing to help somebody leave a blessing in the form of cash and their final expenses to help their family because it's going to happen. And to make sure that they have the arrangement so that their loved ones know what needs to be done and then getting paid handsomely for doing this. It is important to understand that in this life, there will always be up and downs. There will always be a few mountains dropped in our path. But as long as we hold true to our mission, and continue to build the inner man or woman, there is no stopping us. We have to renew our minds daily and grow in knowledge of the business or field that we are thriving to be successful in. I choose to live and to learn so I could live the life that I always dreamed of. And so now still living, learning and growing, I have earned over $1 million in income over the past nine years working in this insurance industry helping others to grow and earn six figures as well. And I will continue to do this by means of different trainings, eBooks, conferences, planners, et cetera. It doesn't matter how much I have made thus far. What matters is who else I can share my story with so they too can wake up and see that it is possible for you. It is possible. I'm excited to share with you my story in hopes that this encourages you to follow the uncomfortable road towards success, to understand that life happens to us all. But if you do as I do and other successful people on this platform, read the books, grow your mind, change your bad habits, even the ones you don't know about, but you will learn and connect with the mentors like the ones here with Cody and the 8% Nation, you too will find success. Remember, Life still happens, but as long as you don't quit, you cannot fail. Thank you again for having me share my story. Again, my name is Christine Austin Eel, and you can be successful. Thank you. 
unbelievable job, Christine. Thank you so much for being a part of this. All right, I absolutely love what you're doing for the industry. You can tell she enjoys helping people. She's great, great on video. She will dance and sing in her car anytime on YouTube. I love it. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm looking forward to collaborating and continuing to do more things with you because you are giving back. And the kind of people I wanna spend time with are the people that are giving back and helping people, right? Because you're watching right now. You want to surround yourself with successful people, right? Miss Christine is exactly that. And I wanna surround myself with successful people because they say, like you are the five people you spend the most time with. Think about that for a second. Who are you spending the most time with? Who's pouring into you and who are you pouring into them? And, and, and for me, I'm really paying to go to all these events and coaches and speakers and masterminds and retreats and traveling so much because I wanna get around people that change the way I think and level up the game for me. Yes, fam, thank you so much for watching to the end. So now just go ahead over to my website at christineaustinill.com. You wanna click on mentor. Um, I'm going to be putting some courses together to help you guys live your best life right now. You can also subscribe for the weekly newsletter that's something different, but down below on that page is going to be where you can put in what type of courses you are looking for, all right? So thank you again for watching. I appreciate you. Subscribe, hit that bell so that you are notified when I am uploading videos. Like, share, 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 and always, I appreciate your comments that you leave down below. Peace.